a good friend of yours, Travis, and uh, this is a picture of you and him when you performed at the Phoenix Folk Festival a couple of years ago. Travis is on the right, and that's Frank Ross on the left. Now, what Frank uh, writes to me pretty much sums up what we think and I think, and uh, uh, I'm just so honored to be here. My heart soars like a eagle to be here. Hi, Travis. Sure wish I could be there with you and Rosemary, celebrating your place in 20th century American folk music. I'd love to share back with you some of the songs you graciously shared with America 50 years ago. 50 years ago. You have, in, you have touched us so many lives. I was just listening to the Tucson Tape CD Volume 1, where you sing Jalisco. And for the first time ever, I heard you sing your lovely, I'm a Drifter. You also shared the story behind the song, which was so touching and personal. The song was simply beautiful, and I now understand why you were urging me to learn and play it in times past. I will learn it and hope one day, God willing, to share it with you. Second paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your stage presence and charm also came through on, on it so very well. Mind you, I am not one to freely give accolades or kudos to different artists, but in your case, Travis, you have left an indelible mark in my life by making such wonderful choices in Latin and American music. Back then, and turning around to share them all with us. These songs are timeless, gorgeous melodies, sweet harmonies, seductive rhythms, and unforgettable memories so full of life and passion. I think that was your mission in life. I agree with that. I want to share just a few people who have also been touched by you and your gift of music. Pat Jenks, your friend and traveling companion to Mexico. That's got to be a story all by itself. <laughs> Many years ago, who is now 96 years old, he shared with me this week that he was that he has many happy memories of his trips to Mexico and your part in those journeys. <laughs> One of which saved his very life. Maybe we'll share that later on. Pat misses you and would like to see you again sometime. By the way, Pat is about to finish his memoirs in another book he is writing, The Adventures of Travis Evans. <laughs> I added that part. <laughs> Ruben Morales, who I know personally myself, and have played with him down in, in uh, Tucson, musically, of course. A former Tucson, <laughs> a former Tucson fireman, now in his 70s, is my friend neighbor. He shares that he used to go see you around town about once a month, and that he loved hearing you play those Latin tunes, especially Malagueña Salerosa. Mm -hmm. He plays guitar, and we get together to play. Some of your songs often pop up in our jams. The Cigari y la Hijo de Luna. Then, last but not least, is Humberto Escobar. I hope you remember these guys, don't you? I know you. There's <coughs> someone I have met in musical circles who says he knows you and still sings for the local trio called Los Dientes de Tucson. That's a funny name. Los Dientes de Tucson. For those of you that don't know what Spanish, that's the teeth of Tucson. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he used to play with Severino Flores, recently passed away. Humberto tells me that back in 1963, when he was in the Marines at the Armed Forces radio station, he often played your version of Malagueña Salerosa. He said it lifted the true spirits. We love you, Travis. Be well and enjoy the evening with all those who love you and your music. Su amigo de siempre, Frank Ross. <laughs> 